Hey guys, Happy Splasher here. Good evening. So right now we're going to continue with our Dark Tower run. So yeah, let's keep going. Currently we are about halfway done and we are still continuing on day one. So yeah, we are going to keep plugging away here. Hey, this is the first time we face a Morgoth with a uh, Drogon this time around. So let's take a look at their skills. So they have the passive skill to deal damage to our Warlord, the damage skill to our heroes, and also the Soulbinders. We will look to... Thinking about it, we're going to go with this melee hero over here on... Yeah, we'll go with this melee hero over here on the C C2. The tree beard has some high health. Get a little bit of protection right now. This Keeper of the Storm has some mental shield whenever he's attacked. And also some extra damage as well. We're going to... Yes, we'll keep on summoning heroes with high health and low attack to avoid the soul, not the soul binder, but the damage skill. <laughs> okay, we have this immortal warrior giving attack boost to order heroes, including themselves. Uh, let's see. We're, we are going to give this mental shield, and that is okay. We'll go with the Danny Croc here on what do we call? Uh, B3, just to get rid of the building with the health seal skill and then just get rid of the keep of the storm okay we forced the damage skill uh not too concerned about this board quite yet we'll go with this flight here over here on the one just to block against the arthur frost frost blade and we got some additional stuff going on over there hmm Let's see, we're gonna go with our damage skill now, and then I'm not too concerned about this quite yet. We'll go with this range hero over here on uh, E1. This York can deal some damage to heroes in the line. We'll also get the additional uh, reborn. Okay, we have the Melia here with the poison. We're going to go with our own soul binders after drawing out the additional soul binders. And we'll summon another range hero. This evil's helper will do some transform. Figure off some soul binders. And we didn't clear out the other soul binders, so that's going to be a problem. But we do have two range heroes, so that's fine. We have this love goddess over here with some attack pentagrams. And oh, we do have this. Uh, yeah, we'll go with this range hero over here. On the B, uh, sorry, C2. Yeah. Okay, at this point now, we're just going to look to clear out heroes using our range heroes. So we'll do that. We can also win the battle against the other soul binders. So as long as we keep those around, we will be okay. We have the All Prince of Sands giving miss to our heroes. Also, we'll give negative attack when he dies. See if we have anything here. Well, so he will die with the soul binders. We're just gonna go with another range here over here. Oh, I forgot how much damage we've actually been doing. Yeah, we're probably gonna have lethal this turn. Uh, we have this Lady Snow freezing our Chaos heroes when they come to play. We won't summon a Chaos hero. And there we go. So that was Lynx. All right, yeah, let's keep going. Okay, we're facing a Drogon Ogre combo, and that's actually good for us because the Morgoth skin is better than Ogre in every way. We have the champion in the arena. We have the extra attack. We're gonna go with the I'm gonna go with this flight here over here on C1 just to block. Yeah. Okay, this Moody Ghost does have a death trigger to freeze the enemies in the line too. I'm gonna go with we can affect the board anyway. Actually, we'll go with this metal shield hero over here on C3. Again, just a block. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna go with the damage skill now against the Storm Rage, which also deals damage to heroes in the line once he dies. And we'll go with. You want to force the silence if possible, but I think we're gonna be okay. We're gonna go with this range hero over here, this Aphrodite on D1. And we'll get some health pentagrams at the end of the turn. Okay, we did force a silence, so that's good. Okay, we have this Mr. Boom here with some random damage. We'll go with... 
Now, I want to continue taking advantage of the soul binder, so we're gonna do another range summon instead. Okay, we got the damage skill clearing out the champion of the arena. Okay, we have the TNT Crazy Demolitionist marking our heroes with damage, also these damage runes as well. We're gonna go with our soul binders. Okay, and then we'll also follow up with... Oh boy, we have pretty good choices here. I'm gonna go actually with the Apollo on a D1. And re, re, or D2 rather. The reason why with the Apollo is we'll get mental shield whenever an enemy appears, which in this case counts as these stones, and they actually protect our soul binders over here. We have the Demon the Ripper setting the health of two of our heroes to one once they die. We're gonna go uh, the range here over here on C1, taking advantage of the health pentagrams. And also we got rid of the stones with the soul binders. Okay, this mermaid here will freeze one of our heroes. We'll keep, let's see. No, we'll summon this hero with the high health. And then the soul binders will pull this out. Okay, we're getting some attack boosts every time a mental shield is broken on our side. We have the Blair here saying our range shell heroes to five. We're gonna go with. I think we might actually have lethal now. We're gonna go with the grandma here on A1. We have some extra copies once the grandma destroys something. And they gave up. <laughs> we have all the metal shields in the block there. So yeah, so that was Adam. All right, yeah, let's keep going. Hey, it's Strogan Ogre. Nice. Okay, so they are starting first this time. They have this Harbinger of War with a health boost to their heroes. We'll go with our range hero. We'll go with this range hero over here on B2, or B1 rather. The Flammy Heli will get us some crystals and those will give Mental Shield. <laughs> And we summoned the Flammy Heli on B1, so that way we could potentially get more heroes to block. Do you know that this... Ooh, yeah, this will be good. Yeah, this Frozen Moor Guard here on the, uh, B2 will help us freeze two random enemies, except nature, which in this case, these are both order. Ouch. <laughs> okay, we have the Loath Spore here, dealing some damage to our heroes, and then also dealing some damage at the beginning of the turn. I'm going to mark these heroes with the damage skill. And then also go with, we do want to force a potential silence. So what we'll do is, actually this melee hero will be fine. Yeah. Uh, we're going to go with the, well, we're going to go with the Marquis de Sot, with the high health. At least when he's silenced, he will still have high health. Okay, we also did force a silence, so that is really good. We have the red hair beast with some uh, attack boost. And some pierce. Let's see. These heroes are marked for damage. These are marked. These are marked. Not this moral and not the red hair beast. We'll go with this building with the high health just to help us block. Probably could have put it over here on, uh, what do you call it? A3, but, you know, we still have some health, so that's okay. Okay, we have the Shaolin with giving an attack boost to the enemies and then also giving order heroes immunity. Also has the death trigger for damage. We're gonna go with our soul binders now. And then we'll go with this range here over here on D1. Okay, and we did end up getting our building hit, which is unfortunate. Okay. Uh, we have the Wing Protector here with the Metal Shield and the Flight. We have this Ondine, which will actually cleanse our nature heroes. But we're going to just go with another range hero to trigger the Soul Binders again. Clearing out the stones and also clearing out the Wing Protector. Okay, we have this Wonder Girl with the Metal Shield. I'm going to go with, let's see. Yeah, this hero can actually give an extra attack rune, which we could use for later. Yeah! Okay, we have the Storm Rage dealing damage to our heroes in the line. Don't want to see that happen, so we'll do this. We'll go with the TNT here on uh, C1, taking advantage of the extra attack rune, and also getting these damage runes, which we'll use. Okay, we got this Argios over here. Nothing too much going on. It will get cleared out with another range hero. 
Uh, we'll go with this melee hero with the high health on D3. Okay, we have the Frozen more guard freezing two of our heroes. We'll go with another range hero. Clearing this out. Soulbinders. Once again, getting some more damage runes. Okay, we have the Goliath here with some attack steel. We'll go with... Yeah, we'll go with the Strick here on B1. Just to give an attack boost to our heroes. And also dealing some additional damage when he attacks. Okay, at this point we will have lethal. I'm just going to go with the range here over here on E2. And there we go. So that was Mojo. All right, yeah, let's keep going. Okay, another Morgoth Drogon combo. Uh, we'll go with this melee hero over here on C3. This Beholder will deal some damage pentagrams once we destroy him. Okay, we have this red hair beast with some extra attack boost. We're gonna go with the clever Viper over, ooh. Might not be able to destroy that. Uh, we'll take the chance. We're gonna go with the clever Viper. And we actually do get our damage to clear out the building in front. <laughs> okay, we have the uh, whoops, we have the priestess over here giving health boost to enemies in the line. Mm, let's see. Now, I don't want to do our damage skill quite yet. I'm gonna go with the I'm gonna go with the Count Vlad over here on A3. We'll get some damage pentagrams. We'll also be able to deal some damage at the beginning of the next turn and potentially have a heal. Okay, we cleared out some buildings, so that's cool. We're going to go with the damage skill now against the Mina Helsing with the evasion. And then we'll look to... Let's go with this range hero over here on E1. Well, at this point, we have another range hero, this Lucky Rabbit, freezing two of our heroes for a turn. Uh, we'll go with... Hmm. No, we're going to go with this Mother Owl over here, just to get rid of the, the bunny. Or the Lucky Rabbit, rather. rather. All right, so we forced the Soulbinder, so that's good. Yeah. Okay, we have the Madame Lotrix here with some puppets. We're going to go with our own soul binder and then we do have a range here so that's good we'll look to yeah. potentially clear out the other soul binders and we do so that's very good <laughs> okay uh let's see we have this keeper of the grove here with some totems we're gonna go with i do want to again take advantage of the soul binder so we'll do a shuffle and we do find a range hero. This one also here deals damage to a wounded hero. We got rid of one of our range heroes. Okay, this is good. We are running low in health. We have this monk here with some remove flight. Go with the... Now yeah, this will be fine. We're going to go with the tiling dragon dance here on A1. Just to get some mushus to help us block. And then also another range hero as well. Whoa! Oof. Oh no, we're gonna take lethal right here because of the uh, mad totem. Wow, that's messed up. Uh, unless we can find something that can help us heal or destroy this uh, or actually freeze our own hero. So let's do a shuffle, see what we can find. Uh, this one gets an attack boost for each ally. That could be good. Oh, we'll see what happens. Yeah. Ooh, no, we're going to take lethal now from the uh, passive damage. Kind of unfortunate that Hoodoo came out towards the end when we had the, the field. All right, that's okay. Well, we have one more attempt. Let's see what we can do. All right, uh, so another Morgoth along with a Gleedy pet. 
I'm gonna go with a melee hero with the high health on D3. Okay, we have this Imago, which will summon some moths when she dies. Go with... And we'll go with this melee hero over here on C3. And this one, this nomad gives miss to a random enemy for a turn. Okay, we have the soul blade here with some archers. I'm going to go with the... I'll take advantage of the damage skill here. I'm going to go with this Charon on B2. <clears throat> And the reason why the Charn is because he transforms into a building, which will actually dodge the damage skill from the Morgoth. <clears throat> As you can see, we're also getting some mental shield whenever one of the enemies attacks. We'll go with the damage skill now, and then we'll also follow up with this Beholder here on C2. That way we can get some damage pentagrams when an enemy dies. Yeah! Okay, in this case, we have the Engineer here with some heal. We're going to take advantage of the uh, Gremory Nightchild here with the extra attack rune on uh, A1. Okay, we force up the Soul Binders. And it's good that they have these melee heroes here because they can only summon two as opposed to three. Okay, and we also have these extra attack runes which we'll take advantage of with the Soul Binders. We'll go with the... Yeah, we'll go with the... Evil's helper here. Bring out some heroes, and you see additional damage runes, or damage fighting grabs. And we'll just go with this melee hero over here on B3. And there we go, so that was Fergard. Okay. Uh, not bad. Alright, let's, uh, let's keep going. Okay, another Jimmy Rocker boy with Ogre. Uh, let's see, so we're gonna go with this Mental Shield hero over here on D3. This Drunk Master here has a little bit of block and also some protection. Okay, we have this Wing Protector here with the Mental Shield and Flight. We'll go with the hero here on D1, this Frozen Morgard, to freeze the Wing Protector and also to break the Mental Shield. Okay, we're not going to do our damage skill quite yet because we do want to wait for those Jimmy Rocker boys to come out. So in this case, we'll go with our... Uh, let's see. You know, we'll go with this Tengu here on B1. And the reason why is because we want to avoid the splash damage for later. Okay, uh, nothing quite yet. We can't get rid of the Dominus here because of the extra, let's see, the attack boost. Uh, I guess we can still force out the Jimmy Rocker boys and we can take the damage, so we'll go with the damage skill. And then we'll also follow up with... We'll follow up with this hero with high health, just a block. Also giving us an attack boost to our nature heroes. <laughs> Oops, okay, that's not good. <laughs> uh, still need to deal with the other Jamie Rocker boys. This Dominus here will still take damage. We're going to go with our Soulbinders now. And this one's going to be close because we don't have any other good range heroes at this point. Although, eh, it's not bad. And we'll go with the Aph Aphrodite here on D1. We got rid of the Dominus, so that's good. We can also deal some additional damage with the damage skill on her. Okay, uh, this Iron Herald will deal some Phantom Attack. That's that's cool. We'll also place this on A1 to avoid the splash damage from the Rocker Boys. Okay, and we're also dealing additional damage. Here are the Jimmy Rocker Boys. Okay, we'll probably end up losing our Aphrodite. Oh, actually we don't. Okay, that's cool. Uh, this Lake Pixie freezes one of our heroes at the end of the turn. We'll go with a Shuffle to find a range hero, which we do. And we'll summon it to attack. Oh. Some heroes. Okay, not bad. We see the health skill going hap uh, happening, so all of our heroes are now one health. And there we go. So that was Savex there. Okay, yeah, let's keep going.
All right, so another Drogon Ogre, so that's good for us. We're going to go with this range hero here on B1. This Flammy Heli will summon some crystals, which will give us some Metal Shield. Okay, we force the heal. Okay, we have this Caesar's Head dealing some damage whenever one of our heroes, uh, whenever their, one of their heroes are destroyed. We'll look to... Well, we'll just go with this range hero over here on... E2, just to deal damage to the Caesar's head. Okay, the Steam and Huntress dealt damage to one of our Chaos Heroes, which in that case was the Flammy Heli. Also see the Metal Shield happening over there. Uh, let's see. Yeah, break that. That. Thinking what's going to make sense. We'll go with... Yeah, this will be fine. We're gonna go with the Arachne here on B1, just to get the Metal Shield. Also forcing the Silence, so that's good either way. Okay, we have the Yoster, the Dawn Glow, with some health boost at the end of the turn for every female, also some damage at the beginning of the turn. We'll do our damage skill because we do want to get rid of the Yoster, and then we'll also go with... They do have that Silence skill to our male heroes once she dies, so in this case we'll just go with the building here just to block. You can see some damage happening at the beginning of the turn, which is what you know, we don't want to see. Okay, the Yoster will be destroyed next turn, but we still need to deal with the other heroes. Let's go with the... I'm going to go with the Alexandria here on um, E1. Okay, we'll take some damage at the beginning of the turn, that's okay. We force the stones, which is also good. Okay, we have this Dragara here with the attack boost because of the stones. We're going to go with our own soul binders. And then... Seeing here. We do have a range here, so let's just go summon that. And we're going to summon it over here on B1, just to get away from potential splash. And also just to block if the, the Dragara somehow breaks through. Okay, we have the Justice Inquisitor here, giving Mist two of our Chaos Heroes at the end of the turn, which in this case is the Void Juggler. Uh... We'll be able to destroy that. We'll, ooh. We might end up taking lethal, but oh, this will be fine. We'll go with another range hero. See if we can actually wipe with the Trigar, which we don't. But we will protect our range hero over here. Take a lot of damage this time around. Uh, let's see. So we'll be close. We'll be that double attack over there. Do this scarecrow here with some damage to our heroes. Uh, water heroes. It does have reborn. We're going to take advantage of the scrap here with the extra attack steal. Oof. Right, fortunately, we do have enough health to stop that. We have the Madame Lotrix with the extra puppets. Also some random damage. Uh, we do have another range hero, and this one also here deals damage at the end of the turn to male heroes. Wow, the random damage didn't end up clearing this. Oh, those puppets are in the way, and that's not good. All right, uh, we'll go with this range here over here on D1. <laughs> I guess if we're going to lose, we're going to lose very hard. <laughs> Ouch. Okay, so the RNG didn't help us towards the end. We lost one Soulbinder, and I guess that was enough in order to keep that Dragar still alive. All right, well, that's okay. This has been day 1B. We'll wait until we get some more attempts and continue on this week. So yeah, we will see you guys later. This is Happy Splasher, signing off.